You with my dog? All right, which hand are we doing? Right, right hand. Let's get you clean up first. Um, the uh, the vet chips, the um, pet ID tags. That's where I believe Amal got kind of his idea to start it. He's like, hey, they've been doing this in dogs for years. Right. Why isn't this safe for humans? So that's when he started looking into it. And he tried to uh, find a, uh, a manufacturer that would sell them to him for human implantation instead of animal implantation. And everybody just kind of hung the phone up on okay. it. They're like, nope, we don't want, you know, we don't want anything to do with that. That's, that's interesting because back in, in the day, the late 80s, Piercy was kind of still, just still pretty underground, I guess. All, all the jewelry wire was coming from vet supply and the surgical still closed the board. Yeah, I, uh, I've worked with quite a lot, a lot of those guys that worked back in the day, and they were getting all of their needles from uh, farm supply places, mm -hmm. um, and then just cutting the hubs off of them. But you get the, the biopsy punches, you can mm -hmm. melt the plastic off the back. Yep. <clears throat> and then uh, a lot of the wire they were using was coming from either industrial supplies like Granger or something like that, or um, implant supply companies that were just wholesaling for medical. Uh, there wasn't any companies that was just making stuff for body right. piercings and tattoos. You kind of had to make it yourself. All right, man, you've seen what we're doing. You know what to yeah. expect here. I'll have you give me that big breath in. I want to tell you just a big breath out. On the okay. big breath out, that's when I'll insert the needle. Mm -hmm. After the needle's all the way inserted, I'll push on the plunger. You'll feel a little bit of pressure from that. Mm -hmm. Pull everything out, and you'll be good to go. Okay. Any questions? I'm not going to watch. But yeah, yeah. Right. We're there. watching for you, don't worry. Yeah. We'll put a video back there. Yeah. All right, big deep breath in for me. Great big deep breath out. Get a little pressure. Plunger, it's in. Get great, man. Yay. 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 You're gonna push it now. <laughs> so we should wait a, wait a little bit before washing our hands or anything? Yeah, um, we really don't want to wash the scab off or any of the dried blood off there. Mm -hmm. That's gonna seal the wound a lot faster. Mm -hmm. So if you're constantly cleaning, you're definitely gonna heal slower. We want to keep our hands clean, so you know, no dirty yeah. dishwater or stuff like that. Just, you know, regular stuff. Um, after about 24 hours, you should have a little scab on there, nothing bad. Don't pick it, don't scratch it, just yeah. leave it the hell alone. If you want, you can put a little bit of Neosporin or any other topical.